I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a landform called a plane. I take four fingers on the left and I put a dot and from that dot I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way across my paper left to right. I come right underneath that and I'm going to mimic this line again. Now we're going to be drawing a couple of series of lines like this and you're going to go this looks kind of different and that's because a plane as a landform is a little different. Now I take one finger underneath those lines and I put a dot and I'm going to draw another slightly wavy line left to right all the way over to the edge of my paper. Now I take three fingers, nope, let's do two fingers and put a dot and now I'm going to draw another slightly wavy line left to right all the way across. Let's put one finger, put a dot, and now we're going to draw it one more time. Slightly wavy line all the way across to the right. Now I come back up to the left and I put another finger above my dot and now I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line across all the way and stop. I come back up and I'm going to start again another slightly wavy line but now I come up and I draw a slightly wavy line over and right here in this space I'm going to mimic the top line kind of bring it down and connect. I come over here on the left hand side and I draw a slightly wavy line out it up and connect a skinny mini right next to them slightly wavy line up connect and I think that's all because on this project it's going to be interesting to see how we color this landform. Okay let's see how we're going to do that Okay, as a landform, a plane is a very, very flat piece of land and it's showing distance. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my brown and I'm just going to go up, down, up, down and get a little bit of color on this very top line, skinny mini line, so that I can see the top, which is going to be sky, from the bottom which is going to be plain. So this is my demarcation line. Next I went through my crayons and I tell everybody all the time don't throw away even the littlest crayon because you never know when you're going to use it. And what I'm doing now is I'm just adding a little bit of apricot which is a multicultural crayon. They do come in packs and I'm just drawing up, down, up, down, I don't know if you can see this, on the lines that we drew growing across. And this is because when you look at a plane, <clears throat> it's basically a big flat piece of land. But there are color indentations from the plant life that is there. It's not real remarkable like a big tree, but it is there. So working from light to dark, I come in and I do some different colors. This one you can see. I do some different colors on the plain part of my landform. I don't have to go all the way across. It doesn't have to be even. But I do want to put a little bit of color there so that you can see that there's something going on there with the vegetation that you might not see up close and I'm using my lines to kind of keep myself in check. Then lightly I'm going to take 
my other color brown and just kind of fill in over the colors that I just did. Now, some of you are going to say, hey, I do not have a multicultural crayon. Guess what? You can do the exact same thing using yellow for your light color, using orange for your color coming next, for using brown, and use the brown as a light cover coat, and then use the brown like I did up here. And you can get the same effect. Okay? Some people might say this is even the lazy part of doing it. Now, to show you pretty much what I'm talking about is doing light and dark just using a blue crayon. Because that's the thing about the planes. You look at the planes and the clouds and the sky are pretty fantastic. So I'm going to use dark blue for the section above my clouds. These are clouds right here. And you don't have to color it in totally. Although this section up top looks pretty good when it's colored in dark, dark blue. And as you work your way closer to the clouds, you lighten up your crayon color. And some of you might even want to use a little bit of blue kind of in the breaks of the clouds. And then use even a lighter blue at this point where the plane and the sky come together on the horizon. Now you'll do a way better job than I am. This should all be solid dark blue. And take a look when you see the finished sample that I did and you'll see how the colors are very light but very distinctive. This is um, an interesting play on light and color. This is what a lot of artists used in the Southwest. Even though the plains that we're talking about are in like Nebraska, Kansas, and Iowa. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my plane all covered, colored in. It's a landform. And it's miles and miles and miles of flat earth with the horizon of a blue, blue sky and white, white clouds. Okay, bye-bye.